giving a little more in-depth overview of how the 140 grain Hackybon performed out of a 7mm08. This was my low velocity load that hit the gel between 17 and 1800 feet per second. Obviously just a little bit too slow for that bolt to peel back and mushroom back properly. Um, its retained weight was 106.3 and I think it lost that chunk going through the board because I don't see it anywhere in the gel. And that low velocity load, um, if it weren't for the board I'm not 100% sure it would have opened. And you see decent permanent wound cavity. From the inch and a half mark to about the seven and a half inch mark. And where I pulled it out of the gel was 20 and 5 eighths of total penetration. So I'm not particularly happy with that uh, low velocity around. I kind of expected more out of that bullet. That high velocity load was I got an error on my chronograph, so I um, shot a few more rounds through it and got an average of 2696, so you're roughly 2700 feet per second. You can see where it opened up right away, and that good portion of that permanent wound cavity is starting just before the one inch mark and carries to the nine inch mark where it seems to get obviously smaller about the 12 inch mark where it starts pin lining down and that leading edge is 26 and a quarter so these are excellent overall hunting bullets but uh, with these tests I've been doing there are definitely bullets I've tested that have performed better than these that low velocity load not even a full two inches by two inches where that high velocity load is four and an eighth by four so overall not a bad bullet they're a good hunting bullet I like what they do to game but as far as these tests I've been doing um, the Swift Sakaros have definitely done better than these and I've been really impressed so far with the test I've done with the uh, Federal Trophy Bonded Tip. My next video is going to be on the 140 grain 7mm which I have the exact same powder charges to try to match these to see how they perform. go rinse the gel out of this puppy and we'll get her retained weight on that. I'll be right back. The retained weight on that was 101.2. So overall, not bad performance. Definitely good bullets. I definitely wouldn't hesitate to use them for hunting. But having done multiple of these tests with other bullets, uh, I don't think I'm personally going to be using them. But they are an excellent bullet. Hope you guys enjoy the video.